Hi, I'm Paul. And I'm Peter. And we are here at Go Rhino Live in the Go Rhino Garage. Today we wanted to talk to you about our 6-inch OE Extreme 2. It's a brand new product offering that we have for 2015. And we'd like to go over what you can expect when you purchase this product, what will be inside, and what you can expect on an install. So with that said, here is our 6-inch OE Extreme 2. As you can see, it's very Oops. squared off. Look at this, it's getting away on me. Thank you, bud. It's very squared off and it's very much an OE style, GMO yeah. style look to it. Huh? Exactly, exactly. This sidebar actually does mimic the uh, new 2015 or an actually 2014-15 uh, GM sidebars. Actually, this sidebar is featured in a uh, black texture finish and a polished stainless finish. Uh, black texture has a five-year warranty. Polished stainless has a limited lifetime warranty. Also, the step pads on this actually mimic the OE sidebars too. These are our super grippy step pads, which is a TPE material, which is a plastic, rubber plastic combination. UV protectors along with the uh, plastic caps also have UV protectors uh, for longevity. Very good, very good. And this is that new textured finish. Seems to be very popular right now. Yes, it is. Textured finish, and also we have that on the uh, bracketry. Ah, there we go. Yes, same finish on the brackets as, as the sidebar. And this happened to be a uh, Super Duty Ford bracket, but most of our brackets are this U-style channel. Uh, we do have some flat plasma cut and form bracketry depending on application. Uh, some applications use three or four brackets, again, depending on application. So let's kind of show so you how these actually go on yeah. here. So as you can see, the underside of this sidebar is uh, open channel style. So you, the, the sidebars come with this, this little channel that actually goes up inside there. Put it in a position, place the bracket on top, and then you would actually uh, secure it together with the bolt supplied. Very good. So it looks like, as you can see there, as Pete touched on, the channel is through the whole length of the bar. So it seems like you can kind of move this back and forth once you get it all installed. That's right, Paul. So like I say, you position the bar brackets on the vehicle, then you could uh, slide it back and forth the sidebar depending on where you, where you like it located on the vehicle. And probably the, uh, another added feature is, as is, is he touched on, this is a universal bar. So the part that's tailor-made to the vehicle that's specifically for the vehicle is the mounting bracket. So the good news is, is if you ever have a change in heart and the style you want, let's say you want to go to a smaller 4-inch or if you want to go to a 15 with the 15-degree bends, you literally just have to change out the bar. Also, Paul, let you know this, these sidebars are available in a 52 and 80 and 87 inch for regular oh. extra cab and crew cab applications. Good deal. So we cover the whole gamut. Very good. All right. So here's all the brackets that you'll have, the mounting hardware, the U-channel, um, of course. Oh, one real quick note. Uh, we've made some changes and uh, we actually have the metric and the standard uh, hardware separated in by bag now. Uh, we've, we've done installs as well. You go and grab the wrong tool for the wrong part and it can be very frustrating. So we've actually separated those out in the, in the hardware kit for you. And then we've also included an instruction sheet that basically it looks like, what do we got here? A P oh, this is the second page. Let me yeah. get to the first page. Right. It's like a bill of materials? Or? Well, actually, Paul, yeah, the instruction sheets, uh, it actually lists the vehicle application that the, the bracketry is for. Then it lists the bill of materials, telling you what's included within the kit. Then the different steps to install the brackets on the vehicle. And then the last page actually shows uh, the variables, the sidebars. Like I say, these brackets are universal for the whole OE Extreme line. So it, it shows the different, different sidebars, how to attach them to the bracketry. Very good. And then again, uh, as we always try, um, all the parts and all the hardware and all the, everything that you need to do the install is included. If something does happen, if, it, if you have a torn box, uh, just give us a call. You can email us up at a customer service department and we'll get some replacement parts right out to you. Uh, with that said, we're going to actually go over to the truck here. If you guys can give us about 30 seconds, we're going to kind of move the part over to the truck and do the install so you guys can see what it looks like actually on the truck. Thank you. So here we are, uh, we're going to go over the 6-inch OE Extreme 2, the install. Uh, we've gone ahead and gone and put the mounting brackets on here and started uh, assembling the U-channels. I'm going to go grab the bar. Did you want to go over anything sure, on the brackets? Sure, right. Anyways, we're installing uh, OE Extreme brackets and sidebars on the uh, Ford Super Duty today. Actually, you can see the channel style bracket has two series of holes here. They attach to the body pinch mold. Uh, depending on if you want the bars to ride up a little higher or down a little lower, you can adjust it there. The bracket's actually attached to the, like I say, the back side of the uh, rocker panel using a clip nut and attached to the pinch bolt using a, a nut and bolt. So that's actually how they attach there. And I like to speed up the install a little bit. I pre-install the uh, U-brackets onto the mounting brackets. The reason behind that is so you don't have to fidget around installing the bolt so much. And then once you have the sidebar on there, just pivot around and go install the remaining bolt. Very good. Well, let's see how this goes with the bar on there then. Here's the 6-inch right. OE Extreme 2. Just slide it around there. 
There we go. So like I say, then pivot those U brackets around, adjust the bar front to back, side to side how you like it. Install the remaining bolts into the U, U, U bracket, tighten them up, ready to go. Very good. So on a six inch OA Extreme 2, what would you think would be typical install Average time? Average install on this is about 30 to 45 minutes. 